I really used to not have a great attitude about my eyesight or being not able to do the sports I wanted, and which was kind of funny when I think back on it, but I guess I matured. Get ready to be inspired by a young athlete with big dreams who works hard at her sports and loves every minute of it. Tonight, more of our visit with hometown hero Maggie Peters, a young student athlete that Linda got to meet. Linda? Well, Tom, the Bishop Dwanger Jr. does very well in the classroom and loves her school, teachers, and classmates. Maggie does very well as a competitive triathlete and swimmer, too, even though she nearly lost all of her sight because of a retinal problem as a preemie. Right now, she's waiting to hear about the possibility of a huge moment in her swimming career, something that's made her a champion at Dwenger and beyond. When not training in the pool, Maggie Peters works on track and field events like shot put and long jump. Remember those last two steps? Her coach, Bob Waldis, says Maggie doesn't see herself as different, and she impresses him all the time. I feel like I will work with anybody that wants to, but I was just... At, it got to the point where I just wanted to see where this was going to go. Maggie says track and field training keeps her in shape for swim competitions. She appreciates Turnstone and even had a role in their first We're All People video. Don't be embarrassed to use common phrases that relate to a person's disability, such as see you later to somebody with a visual impairment. I got introduced to Turnstone and Dare to Try, which are huge um, adaptive sports organizations where I met people um, with all types of disabilities. Rather than accept how I was so different from everyone else, I accepted how I am and how that makes me stronger. Whether it's training as a triathlete and being tethered with a guide when she swims or runs or rides on a tandem bike with a lot of counting and watching marks, or Maggie Peters from USA, Competing recently in the Louisville, Texas Paris Swimming World Series. And that series of whistles is their indication to get go ahead and get up on the starting block. And get Where she proudly received the, the space mask. In lane one, Maggie Peters. She accomplishes two, so much. Lane one there comes in Maggie Peters. Great swim for Maggie. Now she's waiting to hear if she'll make Team USA. She's made all SAC since her freshman year. I love it that she has a disability but still competes with the top swimmers in the area and is one of the top swimmers in the area and doesn't let her visual impairment like be an excuse. You know, if she makes Team USA, that's kind of going to be just gravy on everything. Uh, that is her immediate goal. I hope she makes that goal. I really love um, the possibility of, hopefully, one day representing Team USA. That's what I strive for. I love the competitiveness of sports. You can, you can find yourself in sports and you can learn so much. As we all wrapped up our conversations, I asked for three adjectives that best describe Maggie. Positive. Great. Definitely loyal. Gritty. Big sister. Determined. Determined. Loyal friend. And kind. If you ask me, that list could go on. Love it. Well, Maggie does hope to hear about Team USA by June and a few other things, Tom. Mm -hmm. She's looking at colleges right now. Her parents, they're great. She's, they say uh, they simply want her to, to follow her passion. And her legal name is Magnolia Ann. The family lost her twin sister two days after their birth. Her name was Grace Christine. The girls born nearly four months premature. It was such an honor to sit down with them. It really was. I think we can all learn a lot from her determination. And it was interesting to see that she had that word to say about herself. And her mom uh, said the same word. And I would bet uh, the colleges are going to be competing over her. Here, here. Speaking yeah. of competing, yeah. June probably can't come soon enough. I can't wait to hear. Right? Yeah. I, I'm going to be in touch with the family, so I'll keep Good. you posted, as they say in the biz. All right. Thank what you a, very much. What a much. wonderful person, wonderful family. Yeah, thanks, Peter's family. Still to come, 